Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing today? It's your girl Tonya from Pacific Dream Royalty and you are all welcome back to my channel. In the last episode of my video, I talked about four factors to consider before you embark on your real estate journey, right? So on this episode of my video guys, I'll be sharing with you three main ways you can avoid real estate scam in Nigeria. Of course, you know, there are real estate scammers everywhere, in every industry, in every sphere of business, there are always scammers. Scammers are everywhere. So what are the ways you can avoid these scammers during your real estate investment journey? All right. So if you're coming across my video for the first time and you're interested in real estate content, real estate investment updates, tips, then you need to stay glued to this channel. Click on the subscription button and turn on your notification bell. So you always be one of the first to be notified each time I drop a new video. All right. So watch this video to the end and you'll be glad you did. So number one way to avoid real estate scam in Nigeria, beware of offers that sound too good to be true. You know, we all want discounts, like we like it cheap. We are Nigerians after all. Yeah. So we like cheap deals, isn't it? But then beware of the ones that are so cheap to be true. For instance, someone offering you a plot of land in Lekki for let's say 15, 20 million. If you're conversant with Lekki, you should know that if there is no way you will get a plot of land in Lekki for 20 million naira. So that should already give you a pause. Like you should pause to really think about this. Is this really going to be a big, a good deal? Not all cheap deals, not all good deals are good to invest in. So beware of offers that are too good to be real. The second way you can avoid real estate scam in Nigeria is by conducting due diligence. For every property, for every real estate investment you're about to, uh, to invest in, make sure you do your own due diligence. Yes, your real estate agent or um, whoever it is that introduced the property to you may have done, may have conducted the due diligence or may have not. So on your own part as the investor, you are the one bringing out the money. So you should also be concerned about the safety of your investment. It's important you do your due diligence on the property before you buy. All right. Due diligence entails making sure that the property, um, the said property is in existence because I've seen several cases of people saying, okay, I paid for this property, but when I came back, especially people in diaspora, uh, I paid for this property uh, through this agent. And then when, when I came back, the property was nowhere to be found, but they sent me a video. Yes, they may have done, yes, whoever it is or whoever the scammer is may have done that, but you did not do your due diligence before you you made payment do you get and that's part of the way you also can avoid land real estate scammers by conducting due diligence make sure that the land you the land in question or the property in question is actually in existence to make sure that the documents that the property is said to have the title that the property is said to have actually that the property actually have them all right all these things and then they come if you're buying from a real estate company that the company is in existence and they are really the rightful owners of this property do you get so do your own due diligence on a property is very very crucial before you embark on that on that investment to avoid stories that touch the hearts now the third way to avoid real estate scam in nigeria is by conducting physical inspection yes Having done your own due diligence and you've confirmed that this, uh, this property is what you want to invest in, it's also important that you do physical, you conduct a physical inspection of the property. Yes, I know physical inspection might not be possible for um, mostly the pe people in diaspora or people that are outside the state that are investing in. Yes, I know that. But then it's also possible that you have someone around that you can send to represent you to go and see the place on your behalf or if you can trust your real estate um salesperson or your realtor so well of course the person should be able to tell you okay ask questions what actually are you looking out for the person can be able to tell you the truth about how the property actually is and if possible conduct virtual inspection for you that is what we do these days especially for people that are not within the state of their investment people in diaspora now the bonus points, another factor, another way you can avoid real estate scam in Nigeria is by working closely with a reputable realtor. Yes, a reputable real estate agent or a reputable real estate salesperson. Someone that has a track record of transparency and honesty. 
it is very very important because the truth is you can actually go straight to the uh, company and buy from them that's the truth but in most cases you might not get all the little little truths you need to know and sometimes some people feel that um, the job of a realtor, ah, they can always boycott the realtor, go directly to the uh, developer and strike the deal with them. Yes, it's possible. Very, very possible. But then what about if there are some things, information that the companies are withholding? It is the realtor, the realtor that will be able to disseminate, the, to, to give you all these information, the ones that are not on the internet. That is the truth. It's not all. Yes, there are several real estate companies out there on the internet. But the truth is we know the ones that are good. We know the ones that are credible. Not all of them are really, really good to work with. We will tell you them. We will tell you that. Yeah, so it is important you work closely with a reputable real estate agent. Okay, and then this the real estate agent part of his job is going to make the work even easier for you because the due diligence is going to make sure he conducts the due diligence before he brings the product to you. Do you get? And then your documentation process will help you to facilitate it and fast track it too. Do you get? And give the, do the follow up when necessary for you in your absence and protect your interests. All right, so. To avoid real estate scam in Nigeria, one of the ways to do that is by working closely with a reputable real estate agent in Nigeria. Someone that has a track record of transparency and honesty. All right. So uh, with this, I am sure, I am pretty sure, I hope. And I'm sure that you will be able to make a successful real estate investment in Nigeria and an investment that will also be profitable to you. All right. Um, thank you for watching this episode of my video. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're coming across my video for the first time. And remember, if you need any property, be it in, the, in Enugu, in Anambra, in Owere, in Asaba, in Lagos, Abuja, Ibadan, Ab um, on those states, be rest assured, Roto Tony got you covered. So just call the number on your screen and I'll help you through the process. All right. I go extra mile to get good, safe and profitable real estate investment deals for my client because your, the safety of your investment is my priority. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of my video and stay glued for more videos. See you in the next episode. Bye.